Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Still some delays and closings coming into the newsroom. Bloomfield and Vigo County Schools on a two-hour delay. We'll have the full list on WTIUnews.org. The Senate passed their version of a bill to change how the State Board of Education is constructed. The bill allows members of the State Board of Education to select a board chair from within their ranks. Right now, the state superintendent automatically assumes that position. This bill would also allow state legislators to appoint some members of the state board instead of giving all that authority to the governor. The bill now crosses over to the House, which approved a similar measure last week. Following a flurry of outrage from parents and educators regarding the extended length of this spring's I-STEP Plus test, experts presented their proposed changes to the State Board of Education on Friday, which then adopted the suggestions. Today, the House unanimously passed a resolution pledging to shorten the test. As the first step in that legal process, the House Committee on Education amended and approved a bill coming out of the Senate. The House is expected to pass the bill during its session on Monday. The testing window opens for schools next Wednesday. The trial in the quadruple homicide case against suspect Samuel Sally began today in Bartholomew Circuit Court. Sally is charged with four counts of murder for killing four people in Bartholomew County in 2013. Attorneys began presenting evidence around 11 a.m. today. Sally has repeatedly denied any involvement in the murders. And now a quick check of the weather forecast for tonight. A slight chance of snow lows down to 2 degrees. And in the five-day forecast tomorrow, 20% chance of snow showers. Highs up to 9.6 only on Thursday, warming up a bit over the weekend with a 40% chance of snow on Friday. More snow mix in the forecast for Saturday. I'm Joe Rand.